Jay, 2-0 down, 1-3-2. Two. Have you had time to process that? Um, <laughs> uh, not, not quite yet. I thought it was, um, to be honest, I was gutted to go in 2-0 down at half-time. I didn't think we deserved to. I thought that was harsh. I mean, look, the penalty... The penalties happened and sometimes as a defender you go clear it and they get across you and, and, you, and it's, it is a penalty um, and it was a bit of a blow because at that time we had a good little spell. Um, the second goal, I don't really know what T's, T's doing and we spoke about that. I think because we were we were having good spells of possession, he just got carried away a little bit, played a sloppy pass and they score and you go in at half time and you're thinking, Geez, how's that? But generally there was a few harsh words said here and there, but in general it was like, we actually felt if we scored the next goal, we could go and win the game. And we kind of said, look, believe, because if we get the next one, um, things change. And the second half, we were, um, for large parts, we were, we were very good. It didn't look like half-time was the turning point, though. It more looked like when uh, Manpola came on, on this right-hand side. Would you yeah, agree? Listen, listen he, he made a massive difference. I just said to Francis in there, he was really disappointed um, on Tuesday night that he didn't get longer. Um, and he was a bit sulky and stroppy, as, as these players do. And I just said to him after the game, I said, that's, that's the response. Like, stick two fingers up at the gaffer, like, say this is, like, you should have played me. Like, no issue with that at all. Jordan Greenwich at the end, he was disappointed not to start Tuesday. He just come up to me and went, I told you, like, I told you if I play, I'll score. And I love that because that's what you want. You want, I want players to be disappointed but show it in the right way. And um, as I just said to both of them there, you've done that today. And, um, but look, it's hard, really hard to single individuals out, I felt, as a collective. They're excellent. I mean, you look at young Ethan at the back, since he's come in, he's been brilliant. He gives away a penalty. Would have been easier game to his shell playing against Sean Jeffers, who's nine times out of ten top scorer in this league. And he's, he's gone out and put on a, another brilliant performance. But as they all did, again, we've had to shuffle the pack a little bit. But as they all did, they've, um, they've gone out and put on a good performance. And two goals for Greenwich today. Do you think that'll give them a boost to get them properly started? I hope so. Look, as I said to Jordan in the week, I want him in the side. I want him scoring goals. I that's the Jordan I need. Um, Jordan will always frustrate you. He'll have games where today could he have done stuff better. He could have. He, he comes away with two goals. And um, look, Hopefully that gives him the kickstart he needs. Um, but I'm pleased today, like you look, you look as a group, Shields has come in, made a big difference to us. I felt we got the sub right with, with pushing, uh, with bringing Francis on and getting Waggy more central. And that's nothing against Sonny, I just felt that he was struggling to real, add that impact, if you like. And I felt that we needed Waggy's legs um, and that energy and that bite more central. And look, Waggy's played in the Football League out wide, so it wasn't like a gamble playing in there. We felt, or well, I felt that it was the right decision to make with the players we had. Um, but certainly when we made that change and got him more central and Francis out and for a good 20 minutes Francis causing them a lot of problems. And that's what seven or eight games now unbeaten, three points here today, a couple of good draws recently. Do you think this is a good kick on towards Christmas? The uh, final look, we've, had, in? we've had one defeat in eight, is it? One defeat in eight I think it is now, so the boys were just saying and um, some of them probably should have been wins if it had not been for the odd sending off in here and there. But we got a good group, a good group of lads, they're really together. And, and there won't be many teams that would come here two 0 down and, and show the character to come back. So we show massive character. But on top of that quality, like we've, I actually thought it was a really good game of football. It was two sides that played really good football, um, both wanting to have a go to try and win the game. And um, look, we did the post twice as well. Second half, they've had one cleared off the line. It was probably for the neutral, a great game to watch. But I'm just delighted we've got the three points because, as I say, I didn't feel we needed, deserved to be two 0 down. And there's no rest. Tuesday night away at Eastbourne. You expect another tough fixture there. Tricky one, um, yeah, tricky one. They're, they're a side that were fancy this year. It's not quite. I know Beardy really well down there, um, so yeah, it'll be a tricky one. But look, we go there. We're in good, good form, good spirits, um, and I'm sure that'll give the boys a lift. We just got to make sure everyone's okay. Uh, but a little shout as well. I thought supporters were outstanding. Like even when we were two 0 down, still on the drums, still singing. Really got behind the boys, and um, I think you can see how much it meant to the players and, and the supporters after. So it's good to see. And just one last thing. I think you said in the week we might see a couple more in the door by today. We haven't. No, it didn't quite happen. Um, one of the lads was coming in. He had an offer to, to go higher, and that happens. So you, you kind of have to hold hands up. We are. I'm actively looking and, work, and working on ones, um, but I will only bring in the ones that I think are going to make a real difference. You, you, one more game, we get Ansu, and I think after Eastbourne, we get Ansu back possibly, and, and Swifty. Um, and then the squad looks a little bit stronger. Um, but yeah, in attacking areas, I'm still looking. And, and as I say, I'm a little bit disappointed we missed out on one lad that I thought was, was there, but it happens. And that's, um, well, only like I say, bring in the ones that are going to have real quality to us, as is someone like Shields he has. Um, but Francis gives us real food for thought on that right hand side today. He's, he's shown in glimpses in training and this and that. 
but can you go and do it on a match day and he's come on and really um, yeah, give us, uh, give us a, a glimpse of what he's capable of. Congratulations, Jay. Enjoy Cheers your wine on the way home. <laughs> Thanks, mate.